corner of the room. I didn't know that was your daddy. Yeah, that's my daddy. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know was, that. That yeah, was looking behind that fish. I, I, I kept following him. He told me, he said, well, I'm going to put you to work. So, okay, then he... Well, that's what we did. That's why I buddy, that boy of mine, I didn't want him in this business. He just followed me down. He followed me to the shore. He ended up working in the river. Yeah. And then I gave him a channel net because I couldn't do the seine house and the channel net, too. I tried it and it didn't work. You can't work 24 hours a day. No, you can't do it. It, it just kills you, you know. And uh, then he, he was mate on those boats down there. And he was yeah. a good man. Buddy was a good net man, yeah, too. Yeah, I know Buddy. Uh, Every time I come in. They just follow you in. People were down there, you know, they were getting the net. People were getting the net. And, uh, man... He knew he more about the rig than I did. I know. He, he called me one day. He called me one day on the radio coming up. He said, "Daddy, I got a." They called me in the office. I went there. I said, "What's the matter, bud?" He said, "He said I got a hole in this net, Daddy." He said, uh, "If you'll cut me a patch 400 by 700 and hang it on the front door tonight, when I come in, I'll put it in. And when on the way out in the morning, and I'd cut him a 400. I cut him a 400 by 700 marsh patch and laid it on the concrete out front of the same house doors. And when they got in that night, he took it with him, put it back in there. He was a good net man. Yeah. They have fast.